Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is maximum value of a string in an array. So in this question, we are given a string array which consists of alphanumeric strings and we need to find out the value of each alphanumeric string based on these two conditions. So if the string contains only numeric values, we have to take the numeric value of it as its value. So here in this case, so this string contains only digit right so value of this string is equal to 3 so the value of this string is equal to 4 and the value of this string is equal to 0 if the string contains only characters then we have to take its length as the value of the string so this contains only characters right so the value of this string is equal to 3 also if a string contains both digits and characters like in this case even then we have to take its value of the string as the length of its string so the length of this string is 5, so the value of this string is also 5. After we get the value of each of the strings, we need to find out the maximum among it and return it as the output. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved and later look at the code. First let's look at the example 1. I've written the same example here. So these are the 5 strings present inside the strsra. As I've mentioned, we have to find out the value of each string based on these two conditions. So I've written a function here called string type check and it will process a string and return a value integer so this integer value will denote which type of a value we have to take inside the main function here so let's take a look at this helper function string type check so inside this i'm iterating through each string so inside this helper function i'm iterating through a string str and finding out how many digits are present inside a string and counting them inside the count variable here. So I've declared a count variable which is initially 0. I'll iterate through the entire string from 0 to the end of the string and check how many digits are present inside the string. So count will tell me how many digits are present inside the string. So if count is equal to the length of that string, it means that it contains only digits. So this code is equal to 1. The word contains only digits this function will return 1. If count is equal to 0, this function will return minus 1. If count is equal to 0, it means that there is no digits inside the string and it contains only characters. So only characters is minus 1, only digits is 1 and if this function returns 2. So if these two conditions fail, that string contains both digits and letters. So I use a code called 2 to denote this type of string. So this helper function will return 1, minus 1 or 2 depending upon the input string we are processing. So this input string will come from the main strs array. These are the 5 strings which will pass as strings inside this str type check function and it will return a code for each of the strings. So inside this I am declaring max and I am declaring value. So value will, will store the value of each string inside the strs array and max will contain the maximum among all the strs array because this is the return value. So I'm iterating through the input strs array from 0 till the end and I'm using this helper function strs str type check to check if the code is equal to 1. So let's name the codes for each of these. So this string will return the code 2 because it contains both characters and digits. This will return the code minus 1 because it contains only letters. This will return 1 because it contains only digits. This will return 1 because it contains only digits. This will also return 1 because it contains only digits. So each time it returns 1, I'm going to store its value as its numeric value. So let's iterate through the string array from left to right. So this is the first word we encounter. So the return value is 2, right? So if it is 2, value is equal to length of that string so value is now having the value 5 and max is now having 2 so max is equal max is now having 0 so max is equal to 0 comma 5 so 5 max of 0 comma 5 is 5 In the next string we are iterating through this string bob so this has a return value of minus 1 if it is minus 1 we get the length of that string length of that string is 3 so value is now having 3 so max is now having 5 so we have to check between 5 and 3 so 5 and 3 you get 5 so max will remain 5 let's go for the next string next string is 3 which return type 1 so if the return type is 1 
we get the value as its value the value will hold the integer value of that string so value is now 3 the string is 3 so max comma 5 comma 3 again so check between 5 comma 3 5 comma 3 again is 5 the next iteration we are going to check for this string the return value is 1 so if it is 1 get the value as its numeric value value is now having 4 so check between current max which is 5 and 4 so 5 comma 4 max is still 5 next iteration we are going through this string return type of this string is 1 if it is 1 get the numeric value of that numeric value of this string is 0 so value will now have 0 so 5 comma 0 is 5 so it is still 5 and we reach the end of the uh, array so we come out of the while loop and come to the return statement here and max is now containing phi as the output so we return phi as the output which is the expected output so the time complexity of this approach is o of nm where n is the number of strings inside the input string array strs and m is the length of each string and the space complexity is 1 which is constant because we're not using any extra space that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one when I drop, drop, I need a gun. When I drop, drop, when I drop.